This is Jay Owens. Welcome back to Owens Up To Something. In my last video on day one of our motorcycle adventure from San Francisco to Seattle, we had a little bike trouble as the Harley Road King toppled over in the road, damaging the throttle cable. My dad swapped out his ride for a three-wheeled trike. After losing several hours, we had to make up ground and get to Eureka, California to stay on schedule, so we rode in the dark through the Humboldt Redwoods and 40 degree weather. Now on day two of our riding adventure, we are riding through the Redwood Forest, but first, we need to find out why the trike keeps overheating with 200 miles of riding ahead of us. After talking with the San Francisco rental office, they suggested we take the bike across the street to the Harley dealership. We crossed the road and discovered the dealership was closed for business. Everything was shut down with no notice as the employees came into work to find their paychecks taped to the outside window and the property fenced off. Harley customers were furious as they attempted to get their bikes out of a locked up building. Eventually all was made right as business shifted down the street to a new shop. One of the star Harley employees technicians decided it was time to start up his own business. So he opened up North Coast Cycle. Graciously this new owner and master Harley technician came right to our aid knowing we were stopped on our trip. He quickly fixed the overheating problem by dialing in the right amount of coolant and running the pump to remove all the air bubbles in the system. He also told us these engines are bulletproof and to not worry about any more temp lights for the rest of the trip. Thankfully with only a short delay after an interesting morning we were on our way. I was grateful to have spent some time in the morning with my dad at breakfast as he took me back to the early days of his career before I was born. I was unaware how difficult it was for my mom and dad to land on their feet as newly married and keep up with the expenses. It's humbling to see two hardworking individuals have to build a household from scratch. I gained a profound respect for my dad and the work he put into providing for us four boys and my mom over a long period of time. Now with the bikes refueled and our bellies full, it was time to hit the road and continue our trek northward along the 101 Redwood Highway. We had 217 miles of riding traveling from Eureka, California to Coos Bay, Oregon. I was looking forward to taking a stroll through the Redwood National Park on the Newton Drury Scenic Parkway.
Ah, it gave me a little good tip. Accelerate just a little bit. She kicks right in to neutral. Oh, really? Yeah. Just hold your foot on that. Just a little bit of pressure and give it a little gas and kicks right in every time. That's a smart guy. By the time we're done, I'll have this thing figured out. Yeah. Then you'll have to get one. Then I'll have to get one. <laughs> so this is the Newton Dreary Scenic Byway, just off of 101. <clears throat> it takes you through Redwood National Forest. This is where Big Tree is. And, uh, Makes you feel small when you walk through a forest that looks like this. Some of the trees in this area are more than a thousand years old. Big Tree, sitting more than 300 feet high, is one of the oldest redwoods at roughly 1500 years old. The ancient redwoods are a reminder of our short lives as they outlive us and pass through multiple generations of ancestors. If these woods could talk, what wisdom would they share to seemingly inexperienced humans? The rings of a fallen redwood trunk map out the history of every year gone by from war, famine, disease, prosperity, wet years, and dry. How many times have these giants been struck by lightning or suffered the effects of a forest fire? The stillness of the forest emits peace and tranquility with respect for life, the one thing we all share together. even notice. Uh, could have been. They also got thorns on them, so. Probably all kinds of. I didn't see any. Boysenberry, blackberry, oh, everything oh, no. berry. Too early in the season. Or maybe past it. Or maybe. Here, I've got a little present for you. What is it? It's a banana slug. Oh, really? 
and they make a huge mess. He's slipping through my hand right now. I'm not Double gonna. Of them there. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get his slime off me now for hours. Okay, here we go. Yeah, look at the size of it. It is a big tree. Leaving the Redwoods, we would continue our journey north on the Redwood Highway toward Coos Bay, our next destination at more than 200 miles away, crossing into Oregon. But first, we would stop in Crescent City for a little lunch at a familiar location once visited by my parents many years ago. This location is the last stop while in California. One location that is popular to visit during low tide is Battery Point Lighthouse. Unfortunately, due to time restraints, we needed to continue our journey north and skip the lighthouse visit. The beach views from 101 on a motorcycle provided a stunning effect, surrounded by sea air, sun on our backs, and the smell of sea life close by. We saw clear evidence of the moving land and sea as the road needed constant repair from erosion and buckling pressure. On a motorcycle, large holes and cracks create a big problem. We cautiously watch the road from any new sinkholes or moving sediment. Falling rocks from above were also a danger. It was hard enough to not veer off the road into a ditch, let alone have to contend with animals, other cars, and moving landscape. This is what makes this adventure an amazing experience, riding the edge of risk while also embracing nature's rewards. The cramped wrists and sore butt remind us our bodies weren't meant to withstand the vibrations of an engine between our legs and soar through the air on a two-wheeled gyro at 50 miles per hour. But many would agree they wouldn't trade it for anything else. around for next time on our Pacific Coast adventure as we take on the Oregon Dunes just north of Coos Bay. See you on part three. Can't do it like this. You can try. This is one way to get down. <laughs> Tell me more. You know nothing about this place. Do you remember? Where are we at? <laughs> Crescent City. Oh, Crescent City. Never been here. This is the uh, boathouse. <laughs>